early 60s, a movement emerged that was young, underground and sharp. It spread from the jazz cellars of Soho to the beachfronts of Britain. Well, let's start the Teddy Boy. He's a fellow guy in a long jacket and he's tight trousers and great chucker boots. And uh, he's usually the troublemaker. He usually only picks fights and dance halls. And then there's the beatnik. He, uh, he doesn't work. He, he doesn't live anywhere. Comes around. Uh, the raver is, is, uh, is, is a weekend beat. He, uh, he goes to Brighton and Hastings and right on the parties and says, I'm a beatnik, but he isn't. But as a modernist, he's up with the uh, latest fashions in the world. He wears short, short jackets and uh, pointed shoes. A soft, narrow shoulder with a high three button. The button down shirt was very prevalent. Cup striped ties, trousers would be high waisted, very slim, very narrow at the bottom. It was a long, lean look. 100% cool silhouette. The thing about the mod suit was it was really slick and very smart, mostly using mohair fabric. First of all, the yarn is spun very tightly and then it's woven very tightly, so it's got very lively fabrics. And lively fabrics means that they're, they're very so they always look very sharp. Black colours, all black colours, very wasted jackets, single vents and double vents. The shoulders are much narrower on jackets. I wish the, um, the listeners could uh, see some of the colours. We've got a lilac and bright scarlet. Also, eventually, you could have what was called two chain mohairs. Well, that's where the warp was in one colour and the weft was in a different colour. Mostly the warp was in black and then the weft would be in a colour. So that gave this sort of iridescent look, which obviously if you were in a club and the light caught it, you'd look amazing. And then, of course, there was the shape, which was previously to be quite a baggy shape, very loose. If you think about Bill Haley, if you think about just people on the street, if you think about D-Mob suits after the war, they were always very baggy clothes, whereas the mod clothes was a lot slicker. Well, the most advanced designs we're offering now is in what we call the 10-inch check, both in uh, jackets and slacks, and these are in really exotic designs. sober-minded people. You'd think people who would wear the sort of dark greys and the dark blues and that's all they'd ever go for, but believe me, they're all coming and wearing brightly checked slacks and sort of lovely fancy coloured jackets. I think it's great fun. Do you know what he said? But mate, I, I don't even know you. He said, what's your name? I said, do you know me? Forgive me, sweet. Do you know me fucking name? You knew it when I knocked you out in Durham, didn't you? I said, I'm Albert Red, and he went, oh, I, I didn't know that. I said, no. Right, and I've called him down because I don't like Ryan, especially with other people that, you know, supposed to be naughty. He, he couldn't change a baby's nappy. I come on the station with a bag of peas and a 
the bucket of potatoes. This boy said me, there's all new potatoes in that next year, boy. So I was so proud to have dug a load up for me, mum. So on that Mr. Station coming home with everyone else, it's packed at the station with all these Londoners from people in. This copper from up me, so I said, what you got there, son? And I was proud of when I got potatoes from me, mum. He said, come with me. Took me down to Upminster the police station. I ended up in Stamford House Remind Home at White City. And that, for these peas and potatoes. So on the second night, the night wasn't kept having a go at me, picking on me and that. So I done him with a pork cube the next night. They banged me up in the room. I went to East Thames Magistrates Court. Lady Sybil Campbell, the first woman magistrate. She said, you can't go back to Stamford House Remind Home. You're too unruly. You'll go to prison. I was the youngest boy to ever be in prison when I was, just before I was 12, and I had the birth three times. your skin. But if it takes a liking to you, the officer, he just hits you quick. So it don't pinch your skin, you know. And then um, I got quite used to it. <laughs> Three times. And then um, it don't hurt really. I, I got hurt more with the cane in a pool school. With the mad act, man, I think he was a gentleman. He was great. He was my best mate, right? And we was there when they had the right hand was smashed at the bits. And they bring all the Navy in there, you know, to help the police. All the Navy coming in with, with riot sticks and bands.
somehow you've got to portray it as graphically and as honestly as you possibly can. I do think that if you're going to do something truthfully, honestly, if you're going to portray malevolence, you've got to portray malevolence. Whether it's verbal, physical, emotional, you somehow, you've got to portray it as graphically and as honestly as you possibly can. I love it. 